Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure on being with you today with another episode of King of Retail as I, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I got a notification on the phone there. Got a little sidetracked. But here we are back with some more King of Retail. Um, good lord. Um, yeah, so continuing the campaign. Sorry, like every time I hit record, like my phone just blows up. Like, I, I don't know what it is. We're going to be going on to day 80 and even probably day 81 here. Um, we're in a very good, I think, good mojo for the most part. Um, and, you know, we are on the on the brink of, like, expanding drastically. Like, it's like, you know, I talked about in the last episode, like, we are... Are we doing hipster today? Wednesday, Thursday. We are going to be doing hipsters on Friday! Oh, my God. Okay, so hipsters is definitely in the works today. We are going to get a bum rush of hipsters towards the end of the video, so uh, I would uh, stay tuned. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so I, the one thing I forgot to do last uh, at the end of the last episode was order. <laughs> Holy crap. I usually don't forget to, to miss my orders, but this time I actually forgot to miss my orders. So let's actually go ahead and go through this real quick and, and see everything that we need to do. Uh, one banana? No, we don't need one banana. Uh, it's just pointless. Uh, one tomato soup? No, we don't need one tomato soup. One red Corona? We don't need that. Ten of blue Coronas? We don't even really need that anyways either. Uh, four blue boxes? No, but 15 greens? Yeah, we'll take that. So $524 is what we're going to be posting on here. Sorry, is what we're going to be taking on here, which means that we have two, we still have like two thousand dollars, which is just absurd. It's crazy. It's crazy talk. Um, but yeah, here we are. Uh, tomorrow is going to be what Thursday. So Thursday means that we're going to be having uh, Madison coming in for the sales and then we're going to have marketing. So register skill or register register -er is going to be open uh, for today. So, yeah, I think we're, we're pretty much set again. I we're on the brink of like expanding drastically it's uh it's kind of crazy my guy it is definitely crazy for sure um but yeah that's that's pretty much that other than that uh, i think we are all set and uh, i think we're ready to go into the next day um yeah I i'm really excited if you can't tell you might not be able to tell but i'm a, I'm a little excited here if you, you catch my drip okay all right, so let's see here. Let's do, 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 do. Sorry, again, my phone was like just blowing up. So, okay, yeah, total profits four hundred and seventy-one dollars. And I think, uh, if I remember correctly, we didn't like do much as far as like, uh, uh, as far as what is it what was, um, uh, what what it come come by? It came by uh, like we didn't like restock. We did order it quite a bit. Um, in, in the previous day, as you can see, like we're 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 kind of hurting here for you know we're hurting here a little bit. Well. Maybe I just have bad restocking skills. I don't even know, dude. Uh, but yeah, today we are going to be doing the hipsters, and the hipsters is going to gonna it's it's going to get spicy. I'm telling you. Um, I am actually like very intrigued to see what happens here because hey, let me turn down the volume on my side here. I got the music just blasting in my ear. Um, I am interested to see uh, what kind of uh, what kind of drinks, what kind of food the hipsters are going to go for. Look, the tomatoes, we haven't really sold any tomatoes, and this is actually, like, a bad <laughs> thing. So, three, three, six, let's actually just make it $10 tomatoes. $10 tomatoes is fine with me. Um, I feel like I'm having dreams of this game. I feel like I'm having, like, a little bit of a day job. But you know how, like, you, 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 like, experience a moment in time, right? And you're like, whoa, this has happened before, but maybe you had a dream about it uh, years ago or months ago or weeks ago or maybe th the day before. And you're like, that is some serious deja vu. Does anybody get that? Does anybody actually, like, believe in the deja vu? Dude, I believe in the deja vu. I mean, is it really called a deja vu? I, you know, I don't know. Uh, but I believe in something like, like I've had a dream and then it actually has happened, you know, months later. I, I definitely believe in that. I'm not uh, going crazy, I don't think. Uh, real quick, we'll put Safari on the register while we uh, do this and unpack 107 items here. Let's go ahead and fast forward the time. Bump, 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 bump. Sounds good. All right, so yeah, again, you can probably hear the phone going off in the background. I apologize. But thank you guys so much for the continued su support of King of Retail. King of Retail, I'm going to say right now, King of Retail is one of the most popular. Not Well, yeah, actually, it is one of the most popular. One of the most uh, engaging, uh, one of the most, um, 
I guess the, the best product that we're going out with engagement and, and, and people liking it, and if that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. Uh, but I mean, like, people are really loving King of Retail, and uh, right now, it's probably the, the series that is actually topping everything else. And uh, thank you guys so much. It, I wouldn't be making King of Retail if it wasn't for the continued support of King of Retail. Um, and this game, I mean, this game is something special, I, I do believe. Um, I do have a lot of fun playing this game, and I, I, I would assume that you guys have a lot of fun watching it, uh, because, you know, you guys are constantly engaged into it. Um, with that being said, uh, it, it is very, like, it, it's crazy, because, like, the one thing that's crazy about King of Retail is, like, again, how many hours you can put into this game um, is, is, quite, is quite remarkable. And I think that's one thing that makes this game kind of stand out and kind of strong i mean if you play single store can't like not single store campaign but if you play like single hang on let me turn down the volume here a little bit if you play single store right mode thanks you're not, you know, I, I don't feel like you're getting the full King of Retail experience. I think if you're doing campaign mode, you are getting the full King of Retail experience, which, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing if, you, if you're the type of person that says, no, I just want to run one, run one store. I don't want to grind it or anything. That's completely fine. I'm not, I'm not judging you on that. I'm just saying uh, if you want the full length and the full, uh, like the full grind and the full, I guess what I'm trying to say is like when I buy a new game, I want there to be a lot of length and a lot of content. Um, and if you want that for this game, you have to play campaign mode, I, I think for sure. Because, I mean, the, 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 the fact that you can actually have uh, multiple, whoops, sorry, multiple stores and just create a corporation, it's just fantastic. It, it's quite, it's quite incredible. <laughs> it is, it is. I, I like it a lot. I don't know. So we are at like a full stock store right now. And it's something that we need to prepare for and uh, kind of uh, get our get our snaps done here. And uh, what the hell does that mean? I don't know, dude. Uh, something that I need to think about right now as we progress through this day is uh, again, I, I, I I'm all I'm like I feel like I'm already getting ahead of myself here. I, I'm like, oh, we need to like maximize our our profits and maximize our ability for the hipsters once the hipsters come. It's not necessary. I mean, it's not necessary. We've we've tried that before, and it's it's definitely gone downhill. Uh, we've we've we screwed the pooch a couple of times um, in the past. So maybe I don't need to really worry about that. Maybe one thing I need to worry about is just keep the store stocked, right? Fully stocked and see what happens. Like see where these hipsters go to and see what kind of food and uh, kind of like stuff they are aiming at. And maybe that will be like good intel going forward in the future. Uh, I definitely believe that so when the hipsters do come tomorrow on a friday here if you see down in the bottom left hand corner come in on a friday uh the hipsters you know i'll make sure that there's a a full store for the most part i don't remember what time they actually come uh which which again that could be a little bit of an issue uh but you know once they do come we can see what kind of food they're getting what kind of drinks they're getting and that will get just it's just basic intel for us it's it's nothing to nothing to sneeze about like if we were doing farmers like if there was a farmer hash out you know tomorrow then we would know what to do like what to come at but i don't think we've had hipsters before i don't think we've had a wave of of purple jeans come through or purple shirts <laughs> in, in that fact it seems like everybody just wears dark colored uh, pants for the most part but yeah i think that's uh, i think that's a pretty pretty good idea for sure um, yeah, as you can see right now, I'm, I'm really comfortable. Like, I'm really comfortable in the fact of fast forwarding the time and letting the store kind of run itself. Um, and yeah, you could be like, you could hire a cashier, or, you know, you could ha hire someone. And yeah, I, I know that. I, I think that we've had this conversation every single day for the past seven episodes. I don't want to say seven days because I haven't been here for seven days in a row yet. I'm still trying to get my credibility back up, my street cred back up as far as videos being posted every day. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. All right. The chicken, dude, the chicken is going off the hook. Uh, re Register is going off the chain here. What time is it? 1700 is what time it is. Let's go ahead and fast forward this time so we can get through this line quite a bit. But yeah, I, I am thinking about pushing down these two walls right next to me. And I think that's going to be uh, done maybe even tomorrow. Like like right here. This this be pushed out. And I kind of wish at this moment. I do kind of wish that I had a uh, had a had a re register 
uh, person right now. Because if if I had a registered person, what it would what it would have me be able to do is it would make me think, right? It would make me like right now I have a duty, right? My duty is to make sure I I ring out people, right? Uh, but if I had like people doing their jobs and kind of have like the store on automat on automated type role here it would make me kind of like visualize what i need to do like oh yeah i want to push this wall back but when i do what do i put here do i put my register over there now and then do i fill up this area that i'm sitting at right now with refrigerators with shelves uh and then you know start thinking about like what kind of products what kind of products do i want to bring in uh you know more variety is probably the way to go right i, I it is uh, but like I, I feel like you bring in more variety, right? And, and and it could like cost you, right? It could be like, ooh, you know, stuff sitting sitting around. Oh my god, the pizzas are going out of control right now. Uh, but you know, stuff could like sit around and be like, you know, uh, it's not selling because there's just so much stuff. And I think what comes to that is foot traffic. You need to have foot traffic. You need to have a lot of people coming into your store. I don't know how the game works. Um, from any coding perspective or any AI perspective. Um, but I wonder if like, if you were to expand your store that the AI would, would become, uh, they would, they would come in more. Does that make sense? Like the capacity of people coming into your store would increase because, uh, you know, a couple squares have opened up. So more people will come in. I don't know if the game operates like that. It'd be very interesting to know if it did or did not. Uh, but right now we're kind of just cruising along. We're kind of just selling what needs to be sold sold. Sorry And uh, yeah, that, that's kind of like where we're at right now uh, We're all, I mean we could hit like three thousand dollars right now, which is kind of crazy uh, This is a techie so he's looking for good quality stuff and I can't remember which one's a good quality this Yes, that's perfect. Okay, great. I don't even know if that was a good quality <laughs> Good quality, but I I sent it anyways, dude. There you go. Thank you. All right. No problem All right sounds freaking good. Oh, we are gonna hit freaking three thousand dollars This is this is this is a dream to be uh, but someone commented a while ago Maybe like a week or so ago I, I can't remember when exactly but if you're watching this and I bring up your comment then you know exactly uh, who you are uh, But they said hey when you do doing the price adjustments, maybe do price adjustments every 50 cents Dude, that's a great idea. That's a tremendous idea. I, I approve of that idea. Um, I don't know why I, I never thought of that. I always thought like, oh, you should probably just go for the dollar. And I think I've had this conversation before when it goes like, um, like, like you don't go to, well, at least where I live. Um, you don't go to, that's terrible. You don't go to a grocery store or any store really and find a flat rate uh, product. You don't find a Corona for $12. You don't find uh, onion rings for five dollars. You find stuff that's like four ninety nine, right? Four ninety five, uh, nine ninety five, nine ninety nine, uh, and that's kind of a consumer trick, right? The consumer trick or tricking the consumer that yeah, this is. I mean, this is not ten dollars. This is nine dollars, right? This is nine ninety five. This isn't ten dollars, and sometimes it tricks the the consumer indeed, and it's like oh, only nine dollars wouldn't really. You know, after taxes and everything, you're, you're paying well over $9. Um, and that, you know, uh, even that, it, it, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's something that I haven't even done in this store, you know. But it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's an idea for sure. Let's go ahead and fill up our Duff beer for sure. Make sure that's all in stock. Uh, make sure our mangoes are in stock. And I think that's all good. And then our pizzas. Make sure all of the pizzas are in stock. They are. Okay, great. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I think we're pretty much set in stone. Uh, $3,100. It is going to go down, but that is an tremendous. Look at that. That's just amazing. Amazing to have there. I love to see that for sure. $2,700. Oh, baby. Now, what would we do here? Oh, I feel like I need to expand. Let's see. Is there any emails? There is an email. Holy Lord. Two emails. Oh, my God. Uh, City News. Global warming. Okay. Uh, awareness. We suspect that the ecologist segment in the city is going to increase in the increase during the five days of this event. So we have like a couple things going on here. That's actually kind of crazy. Uh, fair price. So this is the uh, da -da 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 -da. tomorrow will consist of around 20 tourists from the hipster starting at 1300. All right, so we do have a, uh, I, we have an idea, right? We have an idea of what time they're going to be coming. They're going to be coming at 1300, or if you live elsewhere, they come at 1 p.m. Um, and uh, I think it's, uh, I think this is, this is, this is go time. I think this is uh, all hands on deck. 
for the most part. Um, I will not buy that. <laughs> I will not buy that. Uh, but this, yeah, this is all hands on deck for the most part. Um, and we will be doing that, and we will be canceling those. Uh, $483, right? That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. We will we will order order that. So if we take it by, if we wanted to buy new stuff here, right? We could definitely squeeze in some new stuff for sure. Um, and let me quickly take a look real quick at the chart board. I know this isn't like the best idea to look at, but this is something that kind of helps with my eyes. Uh, so fashion, uh, wealth. So you got medium and medium. So medium fashion uh, and medium wealth. So I, I think they're going to be interested in some higher fashion. I know I, I talked about this just recently where it's like, don't go all in uh for for a single 20 people right and that, that's not what i'm gonna do um but i do want to have some variety because i do plan on like you know actually buying or actually expanding our store so it is kind of like a a double-edged sword it's like yeah i want to i want to expand more um you know uh, and, and i think refrigerated items is pretty good uh we could bring back seafood i mean seafood wasn't like a kicker or anything really or organics i don't even know if we've done organic food I don't know. I don't know if we have or not. Um, but whatever I choose as far as like, okay, so this, okay, so this isn't too bad. This isn't, this isn't too expensive and it's not too bougie, right? You got bacon. Uh, and I think bacon is, is deserving in every single aspect of life. Uh, bacon is delicious. So we have bacon, uh, we have roast beef, we have dried ham and we have pepperoni. Um, I'm going to have to do pepperoni and some maybe even like dried ham almost uh and these are like very high fashion stuff which is the the the, the salad in the hamas which is what we have um but you know it doesn't do wonders so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring in yeah what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring in bacon and i'm gonna bring in uh pepperoni so what we're gonna do we're gonna do 20 or 16 i think we're gonna do 16 16 bacon 16 uh pepperoni that's gonna cost us 102 dollars that's okay um so we'll have that come on in and uh i think that kind of gives us the a-ok -okay, right the a-ok -okay to kind of to kind of expand and if you're wondering like what the hell is he doing don't worry don't worry you'll you'll understand here in a sec you'll see um so let's go ahead and add some more room right let's add let's spend 826 dollars in expanding the store for sure bam We've done it. It's sent. We've it, it. This is this is this is becoming us. This is this is us, ladies and gentlemen. So now when it goes over to the staff, actually, wait, before we do staff, let's go ahead and give uh, Safari an upgrade and probably on cashier, right? Yeah, cashier. She's almost maxed out on her cashier skills, which is it's great. It's what we need. So let's see here. So this is a Friday, right? We're going into a Friday. So let's take a look here. If we do sales here and we do Friday. Um, I think what I'm going to do, since he's had like three days off, I'm going to call in Tyrell. I think Tyrell is going to be called in for Friday today. Uh, sorry, no day off for you, my man. Uh, Tyrell is going to be called in today uh, for, ooh, actually we could, what we'll do, sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. We'll call him in at like 12. You know what? This will be a quick shift. We'll do um, 12. 12 to 1500 right 12 to 1500 we'll have him do sales for like four hours okay and you might be thinking what are you doing just hold on tight so four hours we don't need to give him a break for that you know kind of low low interest there and what we'll do for madison tomorrow madison won't be on sales madison will be on the register and we'll kind of upgrade her register skills going forward uh, there everybody is in a good good great mood um and then we have marketing so we have the three the, the triple threat going on here we have the triple threat going into friday um and with madison on the register for that brief time why tyrell is on sales it gives me an opportunity to sit back and breathe and uh and kind of work on the store and placement of things right i think that's uh, i think that's what we're going to do so i think this is a fantastic idea so going into friday we will open at 8 a.m do i like that sure why not um and then yeah and then we got this and then that sale for organic sightseeing for techies oh yeah so okay we're good we're all we're all good we're all gucci don't ever say gucci again i'm sorry all right so there we go it's still 1300 dollars is so much money and it is absolutely insane 
It is absolutely insane. All right, so let's go to, yeah, let's go to the store. Mm. I just spilled all over myself. Oh my God, good Lord, Jesus Christ. I made a mess. Oh my God, I hate it, <laughs> I hate that. All right, so here we are. Um, look at our store is freaking open. Open, open wide, sesame. So first things first, let's go ahead and just like put the design interior in. Uh, what do we have for the walls? Like, I think we have just like white walls, right? Like just white walls, please. <laughs> white walls. Uh, is that a saved color? White walls? I don't even know, dude. Uh, white walls. Just casual, casual walls, please. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I think that's pretty much set, right? Okay, so now what we can do is we can move this momentarily before the store opens. So let's close the register and let's move it. So I'm thinking like right here, kind of tucked in and then uh, open for customers. So there we go. We got a register there and then let's go ahead and buy some refrigerators. Kind of expand ourselves out here. Uh, whoops. Let's not do that. Uh, do, 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 registers, groceries, displays. Yeah, displays, groceries, food, refrigerator. Um, and which one do we have here? I, I kind of want to like, uh, I kind of want to match match that. So it was this, and then the color, we will change it to our green, right? That's it, right? Or maybe that's it, sorry, that's it. <laughs> this is it, okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and expand this a little bit here. There's that. And then we'll flip this one around. And there's that. All right, great. So one will be bacon and then the other will be pepperoni. So we are, you know, we're, 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 we're making progress here. We're, we're, we're doing something. And this kind of sets us up for like dual cash registers. Um, oh my God, which is like coming up. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, this might be the time to shine. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Okay, 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 okay. So this might be a little, sir, like, little over, like, little too much. Um, but I think I'm going to do it because I think we talked about it the last time we had a business rush as far as, like, 20 plus people. So once I finish cashing these guys out, you'll see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a register. Which register do you think I should add? Probably just the same one that I have now. Right? Can I do that? Hey, let's help her. Yeah, let's do, uh, do, 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 do register, register, register. Let's do this one, buy for a max Q. And we'll have like a dual register, right? Can we do that? Oh, dude, we don't even have enough space for the dual register. Okay, that's all right, that's all right, that's all right. Maybe we'll do the smaller one. That's okay. So far, so good. So then this way, Madison will be on this register and I'll be on the smaller register so that when the, the rush does come, we don't have uh, people walking out frustrated, right? We don't have people walking out because uh, they don't have anywhere to anywhere to check out. Um, so let's do. I kind of really want to like line it up though. <laughs> That's fine. All right, right there. So there we go. We got that. That register will be closed until we get uh, until we get that rush going on. And once Madison is on this register, I'll jump onto this register. We'll have like dual registers going on and we'll have a person on the sales floor. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, I mean, honestly, what I could do is I could put Madison on sales so I could have two sales and then put Safari on register and then I'm on register so that you know what? I might go with that instead for sure. Oh, God, what did I do? Okay, so she's on, okay, that, okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna switch her to sales, back to sales. Safari's gonna go to the register. I'm gonna start unloading everything. 120 items that need to be put out here. We have until 1300 to get this thing. Tyrell is coming in right now. He's on his way. Good, nobody's late today. That's fantastic. That's what we needed. I need to get the bacon and the pepperoni out immediately. Um, probably the first things I put out. Oh, baby, this is going to get sweet and sexy. Sweet and sexy. All right, let's do this here. Uh, do this. Uh, groceries, food, uh, da, 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 bacon. There we go. Bacon. Add that. And, you know, I don't even know if I have enough time to do a price adjustment on the bacon. But everything seems to be flowing very good. Very smooth. Uh, pepperoni. Pepperoni, indeed. Put that in. 
All right, so there we go. Um, uh, Tyrell is on sales. She, uh, Madison is also on sales, I believe, wherever Madison is. Oh, so okay, this is our first time. This is our first time ever having two people on sales. Uh, this is a time to restock. I could be throwing one of the salesperson on restock at the moment right now, uh, but I think I, I, I think I have it under control for the most part. Yeah, I think I do have it under control for the most part. Um, and it's 1,200 at the moment, 1,200. Uh, oh my god, this is getting spicy. All right, so they're going to be coming around the corner very shortly. I know it's like we're like, this is very quick, right? Very quick. I, there is stuff that I need to unpack as well. Um, so this is getting spicy. This is definitely getting spicy indeed. Got a second. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. It's 1,300. Boys, this is it. Eight of this. Let's just throw it out here real quick. Throw it out, throw it out. Okay, there. Okay. I will open this for customers now. Uh, open for customers. And I will sit here as this purple wave comes in real shortly. Real shortly. I'm going to put these as much as I can out right now. Where's the purple wave? Give me the wave. Oh my god. Here they come. Okay, here they come. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is it. This is what we've been doing our entire lives. Uh, oh my god. Okay, here we go. We got two people on registers, two people on sales. This is it. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, the store is stocked to its, you know, as much as it could be, right? We got purples trembling in, trending in here. Uh, two registers going off at the same time. You love to see it. Fantastic stuff going on. Here they are. Holy Barney. Um, oh, my God. Okay, so we got that. There should be no issues. Technically, right now, we could have eight people in line at full capacity. Um, two people are on sale, so there should be no questions unanswered as of right now. And if there is any unanswered questions, then maybe one or two. Um, but we have two people on Oh my god, Madison's on break. This is not the time to be on break. Oh my god, Madison. Nice. Madison, Madison, Madison. This isn't the time to be on break. Uh, but this is the time for us to kind of, like, look at what is being sold as well. Got a second. Oh my god, look at this. Lion's full. Lion is absolutely full. I think we're doing pretty good on our turnover rate here as far as like what uh like how many uh how many people we are selling to so this is actually pretty good i'm feeling pretty good actually i'm feeling really good there we go yeah all right so i think we did a pretty good job i didn't see any upset customers i didn't see any customers leave the store because of a uh um because of a of an issue where uh the line was too long i didn't see really any unanswered questions i think all the questions got handled with tyrell so that was really good so what we can do now is uh yeah we'll leave we'll leave her on on there as we we didn't sell any beef or any uh bacon or or salami we didn't get to do any price adjustments to it either so that's a little bit of a shame it seems like they took like all the vegetables and, and, and fruits and veggies so that's really cool to see what else did they take they took the they took the greens they took the lettuce for sure and they took the hummus um yeah i think that was an overall good experience um and that's a tough one because especially with food i think hipsters it's a very very tough uh demographic to kind of get behind there when it comes to uh, uh like what they want uh very easy probably in like the, the the world of clothing right uh but very difficult in the world of, of food i think we did pretty okay there so let's go ahead and drop the price here to 12 dollars for our bacon uh and this will be our new uh new minimum stock so we're gonna have that for sure excuse me okay Looks like, uh, oh, Safari is gone and she is done for the day. Same with Tyrell. Tyrell is gone and it's just us in Madison today. All right. For the rest of the evening. I think we did good. I, I think we did really good. I, 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 I'm not sweating it. I'm not sweating it at all. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. All right, let's go to uh, Pepperoni and do the same there with like $12. Got a second. And then do the 12 system. And then do that. And there we go. And all righty. And yeah, the two registers, it came in it came in handy. Um, is it is it a necessary purchase? You know what? I, I think it is a necessary purchase for us. Um, I do, I, I do. When the times come and it gets busy like that and like it like everybody comes, I think it's okay to have it have an extra register open. Um, and it's not like the register was that like that expensive either. It wasn't, it really wasn't. Um, so I'm happy with how, how we handled that situation there. Oh my god. I'm not happy about how I'm handling the cash register right now, but you know. You can only do so much. So let's actually go ahead and fast forward. And the store seems to be stocked for the most part. Except for the drinks over there. Straight ahead. Which I might have to fix that. 
There we go. Let's go over here and see how we're doing on the drinks. Yeah, we are completely out. Wow. They uh, they love th that stuff. Can cane vodka. That went uh, that went bye bye. <laughs> All right. There we go. And then let's go ahead and do this. We'll add some more here. I think we'll finish off the day in the fast forward mode. Madison is still doing the questions that need to be answered. Um, we only have a couple hours left here in store. A few hours left, actually. Uh, we are completely out of one shelf. Uh, maybe that's something that, that the hipsters took advantage of. Maybe the hipsters were taken off from that shelf. I'm not really sure. Uh, you probably know better than I do if how much or what they were taken off from. Um, but definitely, like, the traffic, I feel like, is is more. I feel like there's more people uh, in the store right now. And I know that lady over there is asking for help. She, I'm not going to be able to help her. Uh, but, yeah, I think this is... Uh, I think I think this is this is good stuff. I, I do. I do think this is good stuff. Um, yeah, so I don't I, it feels like there's more people in the store now or I feel like the there's more people coming to the register now now that we've opened up two tiles worth of uh, uh, worth of, of I guess space in the store. And I mean, look at the money. I mean, I know, I know there was an influx of, 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 of say it out. I know there was an influx of individuals coming in today, but I don't know. Like after all the money we spent on on drawers, cabinets, registers, uh, I think it's still it's pretty uh, it's a pretty big profit margin for the most part. So I am happy. I am very happy of how the store is going on. Um, and you know what? Something that needs to be said that you guys were going to have to, like, help me out on is, like, totally the fact that, like, how do I know when to, to, to buy another store? You know? I don't know. Am I, am I, am I close to that? Am, am I not close to that? Um, actually, no. I, I take that back. I think I know an idea. We, we talked about this a while ago, and it's like you need to have a good, uh, good cushion, right? A good money. Uh, good, good safety net. If you like a good foundation, if you want to start another store, right? Uh, so I, I take back what I just asked, <laughs> and I think I answered it myself. Right now, we're just trying to get uh, the the basics running here and trying to get a very profitable store at this point. Oh, the pizzas! I'll do that. Some French fries. I know. I see. I'm just restocking the freaking store, my man, woman, person. I mean, could we hit four thousand dollars? I don't know, dude. Possibilities are there. All right, I think we are pretty much set. I think everything is all closed up. Everything that needs to be set up is done and set up. You know, not a lot of food is coming out of here. Um, and I think I need to adjust some prices here. Like, okay, that's that is kind of absurd. Egg, sixteen twenty-four. Uh, maybe like nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars for bananas. Um, and that's more of like a uh, a kick to the people, right? They're like, yeah, they, uh, they're they getting a good deal for the most part year. $12 on the cherries. I think that's pretty much good. Um, is this all set? The chicken? No, the chicken's all set. There we go. The pizzas, I think, are all set. I think everything is all set and good and grand. And I think we're ready to, ready to continue to the next day. Holy crap. Wages and the rent. Come on in and bring it in. I mean, yeah, we spent a lot on wages, but I think it was definitely worthwhile. We were taking back $3,000 to the store. Wow. Or to the to the office, rather, which is incredible. So, quick look at our at our employees going forward here. I think we're doing okay there. No level ups, uh, indeed. No emails that needed to be answered. Um, here's some more statistics from that day, if you wanted to check that out. Corporation fee is $953, which is just... I mean, it's crazy at this point because it's like that's a lot of money, but, uh, you know, I'm okay with it. Visitors. We did 134 visitors, which we had 104 customers. That might be the highest customer rate we've ever had in the history of our store. So that's something to, to think about. A 78% rate, that's a huge percent rate. Almost 80% of people uh, that we had came in and they bought something. And that, you know, I, that, that's largely due to our sales uh, people in, uh, for sure. Basket size is still at the one point so and so, um, and I would like the uh, one point seven. I would like the basket size to eventually be at a two. The average sale is coming in at twenty seven dollars, which is really cool. Um, and but yeah, as you see here, inventory we spent like five hundred sixty dollars on actual physical shelving items. 
which is crazy. Yeah, so that's good there. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and like get our minimum storage back in. Let's go ahead and refill our store for the most part because, uh, yeah, uh, $1,100 needs to be come in. You know what? I think I'm going to bite the bullet, and I'm just going to say everything that needs to be brought in needs to be brought in. 192 uh, definitely need to re rebalance there. Uh, so that puts us at exactly $2,000. Um, but I think that's going to do it today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe for more King of Retail as we continue this journey together as creating an empire of greatness. <laughs> Till next time, I will see you. Dude, take care. If you ever feel the same, it doesn't matter the time or place to sing.